Welcome back everyone. Sorry I haven't got much done this week. It's been a bit of a funny week. I went downstairs yesterday to look at progressing a little Arduino programmer that I've uh, been working on and also the robot version too to just try and get that finished by programming up the um, microcontrollers for it and when I got down there I mounted the camera up to start work and the bloody camera mount worked so that should have been an omen I should have quit there and given up for the weekend I think but anyway I sort of progressed on and had quite a few issues uh, trying to get them programmed and it turned out to be uh, with crystals. I ordered six crystals from a local supplier, actually not even from China, and they all appear to be rat shit, straight you know, from new. Tried different capacitors with them to try and get them to oscillate, no go. So anyway, pretty pissed off about that, to be absolutely honest. I suppose it should serve as a warning. Some things you can order resistors, you know, capacitors and stuff like that, probably from China. And other stuff, uh, look for a quality supplier and, and get them from there. Anyway, I've ordered some new bits and pieces and we'll see how that goes. We had a huge storm last night. Um, and it's ripped heaps and heaps of leaves off all the trees and there's stuff lying around everywhere. So yeah, it really was a bit of an omen. I think that camera mount breaking, just stay well away from uh, technology and just sort of you know, lock the hatches and, and whatever for the weekend. Anyway, I've included some of the footage uh, where I was just trying to fault find the issue with the microcontroller. Have a bit of a look at it and I guess uh, when the new bits and pieces arrive next week I'll be back into it. Okay, let's have a look at it now. Okay, so as you can see, the workbench is a bit of a mess. Uh, the robot version one's there, the robot version two boards there that I was playing around with trying to get the processor uh, loaded on. And in the end, I ended up uh, just going back to a breadboard. So this was shot this morning after I'd sort of given up in disgust yesterday. Um, just trying to figure out where I got up to yesterday, to be absolutely honest, but um, pretty, pretty straightforward. It's just a microcontroller, I've just got the crystal, a couple of capacitors, uh, decoupling capacitor, the reset circuitry and the actual USB interface on the breadboard. Ooh, listen to that whistle, the wind's really going after the storm last night. But anyway, everything looks um, okay from yesterday, so let's just plug it in. Sorry I haven't sh uh, captured the video from the actual um, displays down here but needless to say nothing fixed itself overnight it still wouldn't load at all and with that in mind it's time to bring out the heavy artillery uh, so I just grabbed the crow and took a look at what was on the uh, crystal to see if I could actually see any oscillation going on. And there was nothing. Now, I actually moved the crystal closer because I saw someone report that if it's too far away, it may cause issues. Um, still no oscillation. I'd actually also saw someone say with some crystals they'll actually work without any capacitors or the capacitors need to be different so I tried it without any capacitors as well no oscillation no loading so back to the drawing board put uh, some smaller value capacitors on that someone had recommended um, that I saw online just to see if that would Resolved the issue. I actually tried a couple of different values of capacitor um, just to see if it would work. What I did find was some of the values on the capacitors were a little bit suspect, or based on my uh, little component tester anyway. But um, I think I might purchase a few from a trusted supplier and see um, what it reads on them. Certainly, all the components I've tested today have been okay. 
uh, that flash wasn't something uh, nasty happening I just need a bit more light on the subject anyway I've cut out some of the uh, footage from this but I tried many different capacitor values and um, tried loading as well no good so then I thought I'd just take a look at a known good board and see what I could see and to be honest the signal is not huge but I could actually see the oscillator was definitely working so I thought okay well then let's just prove uh, without a doubt um, if it is the crystal or not and I thought the easiest way was just to pull the microcontroller out of the known good Arduino and stick that in circuit and see how that went so I gave that a try and I tried various different size capacitors with this as well and I tried a couple of different crystals out of the set that I'd ordered and uh, couldn't get anything going on at all didn't seem to have the um, clock circuit running the oscillator running and also couldn't upload it all to the actual device so I think that proved that um, it was certainly either the crystals or the capacitors causing the issue and based on the fact that I, I tried so many different capacitors there I, I suspect the crystals more so and just to make sure that everything's still okay I put that um, Arduino the microcontroller chip back into the robot version 1 and loaded it with the code and you can see the transmit and receive lights blinking away merrily as it loaded and just to give it a quick test to make sure that it's still working okay and everything like that this is a good video the top board there um, near the keyboard is actually the robot version 2 board so you can see the difference in size after getting rid of the Arduino it's really quite a compact little unit the version 2 robot if we can only get it going and after the positioning unit uh, stabilized it's working fine without any issues at all so the outcome of that was I think the crystals are definitely the problem child okay so there you go um, sorry there's not much more to report on this week but that's the way it goes I guess I'll uh, see you next week uh, cheers if you like what I'm doing then please do like the video if you'd like to see more then please subscribe and don't forget to hit the chime so you get notified when I post something new and I'll put a couple of links here to some other videos you can look at